My name is Bill Klapholz. I'm a 64-year-old male. Uh, last September of 08, I went to Costa Rica for treatment, umbilical stem cell treatment and liposuction for the relapsing, remitting multiple sclerosis that I have. Uh, through Preston and Richard, primarily, uh, I didn't know them prior to, and I'd gone to a, uh, uh, a, a, a time that they were at uh, one of our support group meetings, and they made a presentation of what their uh, research was and what their findings were and the results were of the Costa Rican uh, clinic. And... Uh, there was a gentleman sitting behind us in a wheelchair, in a uh, scooter that was leaving the next day for Costa Rica. And I spoke to him three weeks later after he'd been back a week. And uh, he was out jogging and he was going back on the police force in Granbury or the sheriff's force. force. And that was enough for me. The, the primary... Uh, symptoms that I had was like a facial uh, palsy, the left side of my face, when I first had an exacerbation, which at that time was misdiagnosed as a stroke. Uh, and it caused, it caused me optical issues and a lot of issues with my uh, hearing and balance. And uh, those are my primary uh, problems that I had at the time. Very receptive, very receptive. Uh, unlike here in the States, uh, not only will they listen, but they'll actually help you. It was very clean. Uh, uh, surprisingly so, it was very clean. And the attitude of the workers at the hospital or the workers any place down there, uh, be it at the hotel we stayed at, or at the, at the, uh, the hospital, <coughs> everybody's like happy to work. It's it's amazing. It's not like it's it's uh, they're toiling at a job or something. They could one. I mean, they could just be doing it uh, happily, uh, and they're glad to have a job. Immediately, really, um, you know, you look at the people around you that go down with you and you see changes in them and you don't realize them in yourself uh, but uh, probably upon my return that I start realizing the fact that I didn't have the MS fog the fatigue issues I didn't realize it so much down there because I was going through the every other day getting a intrathecal in the spine or liposuction and being wrapped up or or going to the physio you're just too busy doing things and once you settle back into your environment back at the home that's when uh, as as I mentioned I went to take a nap one day and it was like 10 minutes later it was, I couldn't take my typical nap it was just a power nap uh, because I couldn't sleep anymore and, I'm surprised there's some, of course, yes. I mean, I shout it to the rooftops to anybody I can tell. Uh, there, There isn't a week that goes by that I don't get a phone call from somebody wanting to know more about the Costa Rican experience. And uh, it's it's just, you know, it's just amazing. I. I I wish I could do more. I wish I could say more. Uh, I wish I could change things more here in the States. Uh, 